Welcome to the Deep Tarot, my friends. We are still doing the zodiac signs. We still have four more. We're gonna see whose turn. This is the zodiac signs for October 2020. Capricorn. Two. Let's start. Three cards for your health, three cards for your money and career, three cards for your love life. I don't treat reversals. Help. Mm. Money. Too many. Too many. Okay, your health. You are taking a break. This break is not outside break, like you're not relaxing, you're not leaving the job or having a vacation. This is an inner break inside you after a conflict in your life. Someone was a liar or let's say he was not upfront. I don't think this is affect your heart, but you felt tired dealing with this. I don't think you fell in love with this person. It was only kind of a, either something was very fast. You knew this person for a short period of time, then you discovered this. Or even if it was a long term, it was not a relationship. It was a kind of, say like kind of a friendship someone you thought that maybe you felt that they were interested but not you then you found out that there is lying here deception I think and I think you felt that as well that this is not love. They took you as a good opportunity. You didn't felt you didn't feel the love. So now you said, you know what? I'm just gonna go deep in and leave this story for now. I'm gonna heal myself. Thinking about what happened, learning my lessons so I will not do this mistake again. Money, there was a transformation in your life. Something big changed to the better. But you paid a price for that. Like you get what you want in your money and career, but there was a big price for it. You gave up something to reach here. And now you're thinking, did I make the right choice? You are very successful in your career, but you're thinking, is this what I really want? Is this what will make me happy? 
You don't know. I felt, see, I will tell you my feeling. My feeling is Capricorn, you want everything. You want the money, the success, the love life, everything. I don't think we can get everything. I don't think we can. There is always something missing in our life. I think this is justice. Like it's fair because you can't take, you can't have everything or someone else have nothing or I don't think this is the right way to say it. There is always something missing, so life will be fair. No one can get everything. Always there is something missing. And I think you are thinking right now, is what I get, I sacrificed something to be here. Is that was the right decision? You, do, you don't know. You don't know. You were, before, you were in a very unstable life. Maybe money-wise, I don't know. Now you are stable. But your life is empty. You are stable, but there is nothing around you. It's boring. Like, for me, life is like a heartbeat. It has to be up and down. If it's straightforward, even if you are in a high level, straightforward is, it's exactly like the heart. It's dead. So I think you are successful, but not satisfied. Let's see. Love life. Holding back as usual for a Capricorn. You are grounded more than enough or a lot. Too much. Too much grounded. Everything has to be logic. Everything has to be, as they say, tangible. No. You are holding your pentacles, thinking inside you. Am I happy? This is not being cheap or stingy, no. This is the feeling of security. As I told you, you sacrificed something to be secure. Now you're thinking, I have this, the money, security. I'm grounded. I'm safe. The question is, am I happy? You will be Capricorn. See? Four of Wands, Chariot. And for this as well, this is how I felt. Based on the last experience, you think that maybe this person is not what you think. I don't know. You don't know what to do? I think you have a trust issue here. <sighs> you are in between going fast and holding back. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. Let's see. What's your outcome? Capricorn. Uh, this half understanding for me.
I want to clarify this. think you are very traditional dealing with someone who is not traditional at all that doesn't mean that they are bad but this is you're scared you're scared this is not this this is a new person but I think you are holding back based on that previous experience. I think you are doing the right thing, Capricorn. You are taking your time to heal, to think. I don't think you need healing. You are thinking, trying to find a way to know. Or maybe how to figure out the person in front of you faster than before. Let's see the outcome. I think you are still working on this. Working to find that key to know if the person in front of you is lying or not in another words you are trying from all the voices in your head to figure out which one is your intuition because there is so many voices in your head mind heart logic you are trying to learn how to know which one is your intuition. I think you will find out. I think you will find that out. You will know which one is your intuition. You will follow your heart to know if this person is the right one or not but you're still in between here holding back going fast you don't know what to do keep in mind capricorn there is something in between between holding back and going fast slow and steady win the race you don't have to hold back completely you don't have to jump try to start this or accept this person one step at a time i think this is a fiery person that what scares you you are scared because of their way. Maybe they are a fire sign or something. But this is what scares you. Fiery person doesn't mean always. Not an honest one. Work on your intuition. This is the best solution. This is the answer. So I think you are intuitive, but you are trying to clear the voices around that right voice inside you. So you are working on it. You will be there. You will reach that point. No worries. 
You can. You are a Capricorn. Nothing is impossible for you. Okay. Thank you so much, my friends. I hope if you like this and it was gave you like an idea or an advice or maybe a word you needed to, to hear, just hit that subscribe button for me. Have a good day. See you soon. Bye.